Hey, welcome my scrapping friends to uh, Scrapping It Up. I am Vanessa Peter, and yes, I'm doing a live class. Yes. So um, after the other day, when I done that live um, demonstration with you guys on my tutorial club, I thought, you know, why not? Let's try this um, doing a live class here on YouTube. And here we are, ladies. Welcome. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I will apologize right up front. You're probably going to hear a four-wheeler um, running around. Um, my son may pop in here. My husband may pop in here. But uh, it's like it's like guys. <laughs> so I'm apologizing right up front. Okay. So welcome. Welcome. Today, this is part two of the notepad holder um, number two. This is the one that is eight and a half, eight and a half by um, 11. Well, it's basically 12. You know, your chipboard is 12, but it does hold the eight and a half by 11 um, notepad. Okay. And um, if you haven't went and grabbed the cutting guide, I do have it scrolling down below scrapping it up.com and go to my blog and grab your free cutting guide ladies or gentlemen i guess i shouldn't always say ladies <laughs> but yes go grab your free cutting guide it gives you the measurements that you will need for our class okay and i gave you the supplies that i used and then you know the basic cutting guide okay I know it doesn't give you everything, but it does give you the um, how to make you know the basic notepad holder number two. Um, if you remember right, I done the notepad holder number one a while back. It was a smaller version. I think it was six by eight. So um, you guys said you wanted one that would fit a bigger one, and so yep, I done it. Now there is part one already on my YouTube. So this is part two, guys. Okay. All right. So um, right off the get-go, um, Rissa T is my moderator. Okay. And I don't know why it's not coming up as her as she is my moderator, but uh, Rissa T is my moderator. Okay, guys. If you guys have any questions during this live class. Please ask it, and um, Carissa will get um, try and help you any way that she can to help you. Okay, so if you have a question, um, just ask it, and she will um, get it all answered for you. She is my um, right hand person. She helps me out a lot over there on my Facebook group, and she, she is now the moderator of my um, YouTube channel too. So yes. Hands to Carissa. Yes. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I always need help, guys. And um, I will tell you, um, you guys have never seen me do a live class. It's always been pre-recorded and you just get, you know, the straight up me doing what I need to do and be done. Okay. Um, you guys are probably going to see a little bit different version of me. Okay, I like to have fun and I like to joke around and I love to laugh. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Okay, let me get my um, mouse pad off there before I shut us down. I've done that, trust me. Oh, welcome, Tamra. Glad you could join us. All right, in the, in the videos before I left off, we made our um, base with chipboard, and then we made the spine with craft text. Um, if if you want to get a hold of craft text, go to um, Amazon.com. I will leave a link down in here um, after this video is over to where you can go through my um, affiliate link, and I earn just a small commission if you would go through my link. Do you pay any more for it? No. It just earns me just a small commission. So, yes, I do, I do um, earn that. But, yeah, I will post a link 
um, to craft text. Craft text is wonderful for um, scrapbooking. Okay. All right. So we've done that. So now what you need to do is get you four one and a half inch strips. Okay. Four one and a half inch strips. And this is not in your cutting guide. So you may want to write it down, okay? Oh, that is the best way to go through your life. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks, Tamara. It is. I mean, you, and you guys will find out what I what you get is what you get. What comes out of my mouth, I mean, I I may apologize for it, but I don't edit any of my videos or nothing. What you get is what you get, okay? I'm not spending, you know, the extra time editing videos. I don't have time for that. Okay. All right. So four pieces at one and a half by 12. Okay. What these pieces are for, we are just going to kind of disguise our, um, how we put things together a little bit. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to put one on each side and it's going to wrap around the whole um, portfolio, okay? Yeah, you can use tie back camera, yes. Yeah, you can use um, tie back, yes. Yeah, craft text may not be as easy up there in Canada. You're correct. But yeah, you can use tie back and you can use the cardstock, um, cardstock and tie back option. And I would I would recommend the tie back cardstock upper, um, because it gives it a little bit more flexibility. And the reason I've done the craft text is because so when you're writing in this, you can fold this back. Okay, that's my reasoning for this. That's why I use the craft text. But if you use the cardstock or the you know cardstock tie back option or just tie back. I wouldn't use just cardstock. Never use just cardstock, guys. Okay, just heads up on that. I would use either tie back alone or tie back and cardstock or the craft text. Okay, never cardstock on its own, guys. Okay, it will not stand up. You will have a project that you will um, not like very well at all. Okay. Ugh. Never be afraid of it, Tamara. Never be afraid of it. All right. So let's get started. And then we'll need just a little piece when we get done because both of these will not wrap the whole thing. I think it's like a not quite even a quarter of an inch that we'll have left that we'll have to piece in. That's okay. That doesn't bother me. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to have about... Can you guys see? Let me let me get this up here close, a little bit closer, where you guys can see. There's about how long, I want to leave a little bit of the cardstock showing, just for um, decorational purposes. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take part of this, and I already got mine taped, um, just to make the video just a little bit. Oh, you guys can probably hear the four wheeler. My son is out riding four wheelers. So I apologize for that, guys. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to place it about. Oh, sorry. There goes the razor. I know I should be out there riding with them. I should be. But I told them I wanted to get you two done. All right, I'm just going to grab my bone folder. I hope you guys um, will enjoy this. It's a wonderful project. And like I said, go to scrappingitup.com and um, grab your um, free cutting guide. Now I'm just going to kind of bend this over. Not all at once. I'm just kind of working it. I'm just kind of working it, guys. Okay? Because you don't want to bend it all over at once because it will crack your cardstock. Depending on, you know, what you use. 
I took off the rest of my tape. And I try and get this as straight as I can. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my other piece. This is on the, um, and this is a front half now. Okay. And I would apply your tape to all of it. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to just butt this right up against this as best as, as I can. Okay. I'm going to line it up. This is, if this side doesn't match, that's okay because we're going to cover that up with paper. You want this side to be really flush. Okay. And hopefully I get this straight. But I'm not going to guarantee nothing. I'm not going to guarantee anything. Okay. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to try and pull it down to where it's even with this piece right here. Okay. And in the future, guys, if we start doing these on um, YouTube lives, um, I will, you know, I will announce when I'm going live. Because I know, you know, like right now, it wasn't announced. Um, this is just a, um, a class that I decided, you know, because I'd never done lives before. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to add my other strip, and I'm just going to peel back. Um, if you guys um, didn't see my video that I posted just the other day, um, go back and watch it. I do have my Tutoro Club that is available now for not only $9.99 a month, guys. That's right, $9.99 a month. It's regular $20 dollars a month right now until april 8th i'm offering it for 9.99 um and i think chris i can probably put the post or you know the link to where you can go um sign up for my two-year-old club um it's it is where i post all my videos it's where i keep all my videos and um you have access to them 24 7. And it is a very great, I've had a lot of very nice comments um, from the people that's been in my tutor club. And they they tell me they love it. In fact, I had one lady tell me for the $9.99 price, it was uh, just like getting Netflix. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks, Carissa, for posting that. I appreciate it very much. All right, now I'm just going to do this one. Hopefully get it as straight. And I know my, yep, my, we'll see. We will see. I'm notorious for not getting things very, very straight. I wanted to get this done with you guys because I know a lot of you are, um, at home and um you have time oops that's okay i see there's a you can see a little bit of a brown showing through you can either get you a black marker or put that as your back cover so now i'm just going to kind of gradually work this but the tutorial club is really a great 
Yep, see, I didn't get that straight, but I'm going to try and fix it as much as I can. We got a little bit of a bump. Let's see what we can do with it. Ah, I got it. Yay. The Tudor Club is a great, um, I have over 50 Tudor Rolls. In fact, uh, I, um, Carissa counted them up and she said there's 58 people, 58 people, 58 Tudor Rolls in there that you can choose from. I put all my Facebook Lives in there. I put my 12 by 12 interactive pages in there. Um, yeah. And then there's two girls in there that you've never even seen before. That I've never even published. It's a place where I store all my videos. All my videos. Oh, yes, Linda. Yes, she did. And thank you so, so much. I hope you'll make something great. And there's so many tutorials to choose from. Okay, here's what I was talking about, that quarter inch now that we've got to hide. And we are good at hiding things, guys. So let me find just a little piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to cut it at an inch and a half. And it's like a quarter of an inch. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And I'm going to glue this piece in. I'm not going to use the score file tape. I'm going to rip that one just a little bit too long, so I'm just going to cut it. And we'll just glue these in. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay. Oh, thanks, Carissa. Yeah, it is an endless piece of master. I mean, I don't know if I'd say masterpieces, but thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's 24-7 access from any of your devices. Um Let's say at 4 o'clock in the morning, you can't sleep, you want to make something, guess what? Get on your box account with me, and you can pick out a tutorial and have something right then and there. There is no need to search the internet for a tutorial. You have a database to check, okay? So it is wonderful. All right, let's glue these in. I should have my tweezers. And I'm probably going to get too much glue as normal. Ah, let me grab my tweezers. Just a sec. <laughs> it never fails. I'm on live TV. Live and that happens. <laughs> Are they supposed to be better, Tamara? Oh, oh, that is not where I want that yet. Okay, there's that. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so we'll let that dry a little bit. Let's get our um, hinge made. That's the hardest part of this, is making the hinge, guys. Okay? I'll be honest with you. It, it, it is the hardest part to make. Okay? Does anybody have any questions yet? Any questions? 
And don't be afraid to post a question, guys, because there is no, in my book, there is no dumb question. Okay. All right. So the hinge piece should be four and three quarters by 11. Four and three quarters by 11. Okay. You're going to score at one inch. Okay. One inch. And then we're going to score at one and a quarter. One and three quarters. So one and three quarters. Two and a quarter. Okay. Two and a quarter. Then two and three quarters. And three and a quarter. And then three and three quarters. Okay. And then score at four. Okay, that's our hinge. Oh, you just got signed up, Deb. Welcome, welcome. We are glad to have you. You will not regret it. You will not regret it, honey. Oh, yeah, being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I may have to try one of them, Tamara. All right. Now, when you score, you have a bumpy side and an indented side. Okay. So now what we're going to do, you're going to flip it over on the bumpy side. You're going to grab your score pal tape. And you are, okay, you have your, you have your inch here. So let me put, so you guys. So one inch, and then you have your three quarters inch here. Okay. If you probably can't see that, but there it is. You have your one inch and your three quarters. The one inch is what's going to attach to your album. Then you have a quarter of an inch, half, half. Okay, I'm going to apply tape to the very first half inch. And when you apply your tape, you want to keep your tape pretty straight because it can make you or break you. Okay, so just like that, you have your inch, your quarter of an inch, and you're going to apply tape to your very first half inch. <laughs> okay, now what you're going to do, you're going to skip a half inch. Skip a half inch and apply your tape on this one. So this second, I'll show you. Okay. And I'm sorry, my head might be in the way because I want to keep my tape fairly straight. Okay. So you have your inch, quarter, your half inch. Half an inch, half inch, and then your another half inch. So where you're going to put your tape is your very first half inch. You're going to skip a half inch, skip a half inch, and put your tape on the next one. Okay? So then you should have a half inch here, quarter, and three quarters. Okay? Hey, welcome, Black Pearl. Glad you could join us. We're just working away on the note holder. Um, part two, I'm trying a live class. So give me thumbs up, guys. <laughs> I'm trying it. I am trying it. I wonder if I get on YouTube on my iPad, I can see the comments. I can see them over on my computer, but it's it's a little ways for me. Hey, is that it? Can I? Oh, I got to turn it down, just like, 
me turn it down. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can see the comments. Yay. Oh my word. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tamara. She said she sent a lot of people my way. You hoo. Awesome. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, the score pile tape, you're going to fold on that line right after that score pile tape. You're going to fold on it, okay? And burnish. Okay? And then you're going to take the tape off and fold. <gasps> Not do what I just done. Don't do what I just done. And then fold back. Okay? You're going to do the same thing here with this tape. You're going to fold on that line right after your score pile tape. Fold on it and burnish. Take your tape off. Stick her down and then pull back on it. Okay. Now, when you flip that over, you should have two hinges that you just made. Okay. Two hinges that you just made. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to work them. You have to um, use your bone folder and just kind of keep working them back and forth a little bit. You got to break those fibers down. Okay. Okay, just like that. When you get them broke down, you, you'll have to work it just a little bit more than what I'm doing. I just don't want to spend the next 15 minutes trying to break it down. Okay. So now what you're going to do, I'm going to grab my quarter inch score pile tape. And we are going to put it right along. Yes, this is the um, same that we've been doing over in our Facebook group. Um, the reason I'm doing it over here on YouTube too, because there was a, I had a big response here a while back. I asked um, my YouTube viewers if they used Facebook. There were so many of them that said no. So I want to give the YouTube my my you know my YouTube scrapping friends the same opportunity as what um, my Facebook people get. So that's why I'm I'm doing it in both places. And that's why I'm offering the tutorial club at the same same thing that I'm offering my Facebook um, people, okay? Because um, YouTube, um, there's a lot of people that's on YouTube that does not do Facebook. And I didn't realize there were so many people that didn't do Facebook. There is so many of you that only do YouTube only, you don't do Facebook. So um, that's why I'm, I'm doing this, guys, okay? Oh, you're so welcome, Black Pearl, so welcome. Because, you know, I didn't realize it because, you know, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, I am, I've been on YouTube for years and, you know, Facebook for years. And when I asked you guys that question last, what was it, last fall, I was blown out of the water that there were so many YouTubers that do not watch Facebook, you know, that don't do Facebook. And I understand totally because, you know, Facebook is Facebook. So that's why I'm, you know, doing this with you guys and I'm doing my tutorial club with you guys. I'm offering that tutor, tutorial club at $9.99, just like my Facebook people, okay? All right, so we got tape on both sides of our hinges. Now we're just going to miter just to that score line. Do not go past the score line, okay? Do not go past that score line, okay? Do this on both your hinges. 
This allows for easier attachment of our um, changes that we're going to be attaching to them. Okay. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Now you have a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch on both sides. So now what you're going to do, you're just going to fold towards your hinge. Both of those. You're just going to fold them towards your hinge on that quarter inch space. Okay. And then we're going to burnish. I'm going to flip it upside down and burnish. Yeah, Carissa um, has posted. Um, Carissa is my moderator on my YouTube, and she helps me out over on my Facebook page. Um, she has posted the link. If you guys want to go sign up for my tutorial club, I would be more than happy to have you. And it will be closing April the 8th. Tomorrow night at midnight, Central Standard Time, it will be closing, and it will not open up again until next year, guys. Okay, but I want to give you guys the opportunity to sign up if that's, you know, what you want. Okay. I mean, if, if you're in doubt, guys, okay, you guys got your listening ears on? <laughs> if you, if you want to know basically kind of what I have in there, go to my website, Scrapping It Up, go to my step-by-step um, -step, um, tutorials. And everything that is in there is inside a box. Plus, I have gobs more inside my box.com. Okay. But that will give you kind of an idea of what I have, what you can find inside of my box.com. Okay. Oh, welcome, Diane. Glad to have you, hon. All right. So now these end hinges should be all facing like that okay so what this is going to do this is going to attach inside our folio and you're attaching the one inch the one inch is what's going to attach okay not the three quarters inch you have a three quarters inch and a, an inch we're attaching the one inch. So let's get our tape on that. Okay. I'm going to fix it like this. And I'm going to apply my tape. And I'm going to apply that tape right along that edge. I want to stay right along that edge. Okay. Uh oh, there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to use my three eighths. Right along this. Okay. Uh, welcome, Donna. Glad you could join us. Yes, I'm doing. I'm doing a live class. Yes, on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and. Um, I'm finally doing it. Yes, and this this may be this may become a norm. It really really might become a norm. Let me know in the comments comments. You know, if you hey, if you guys are watching on the replay of this, let me know in the comments. Would you guys like me to start doing more of these live classes like this? Um, you know, let me know. Yes, nay, no. Nah. Yes, please. You know, let me know. Give me thumbs up on the video. And um, yeah, I I think I really like doing this. All right. Now we have our half inch done. And we're going to place this right. Let's see. I want to decide which one's going to be my front and back cover. Because this one got covered better than this one. So this is my front. Okay. That's okay on the back. I'm not going to worry about that. You know, these are handmade projects. You know, they're not going to be perfect. Yes, I like them to be perfect. But it doesn't always happen that way. But that's okay. So this is my front cover. You want this 
to be on your front cover. Okay, so front and back. Okay, you probably can't see that. <laughs> okay, you have your one inch that was all taped up. So what you're going to do, you're going to leave the same amount of space top to bottom. Um, I didn't design this to go the full width of it. If you want it to go the full width of it, you can. Okay, you just cut your hinge at 12 inches instead of the 11 that I've done. Okay, I've done the 11 for design purposes to add a little bit of dimension to it. But you can do it at 12. It's totally up to you. It doesn't hurt anything if you want to do it at 12. Okay, just to, you know, it's totally up to you. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of this black showing because I like it for decorational purposes. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep this now. The best way I have found to put this on is take a little bit of your tape off. Just like that. Now I'm going to leave this one on. I'll take it off when we get it attached. That way, if I get it off, I will only have to take off this one half. <laughs> so wish me good luck, guys. Okay, wish me good luck. So I'm going to line it up to where I think it needs. To. And if you need to use the ruler, I think it's about a half an inch. You can always mark it where you want it to be. If you're doing the 11 inch, okay, just kind of mark it and that way you know where it needs to be, okay. Oops, better get over here where I'm supposed to be. Okay. I see that I already stuck down, but that's, that's all right. So now what I do, see if that's sticking out, I pull it off, stick it down. Bring my hands on down, pull it off, stick it down, pull it off, stick it down. That's the easiest way that I have found to do this because if I were to take that tape all off at once and try and stick it down, I'd have a hot mess. This is the easy, that's the easiest way I have found to do that, guys. The easiest. Oh, it's midnight? Yes, in South Africa. Yep. Yeah, you stay healthy and you stay safe too, hon. Thanks for stopping in. But yeah, that's the easiest way I have found to do that. Now you can take your other strip of tape now that we know that it looks good where we got it. I don't have to use my undo to take it off. There we go. Yay, we have a hinge, guys. We have a hinge. Isn't that pretty cool? So you'll we'll attach a pocket page here and a pocket page here, and then we'll attach something here. Ain't that awesome? All right, let's make um, our pocket pages. So you can put this away for a few minutes. Let me grab my pocket pages here. Okay, you should have two pieces at eight and three quarters by 11, two pieces at eight by 12, two pieces of those, okay? Two pieces at eight by 12, two pieces at eight and three quarters by 11, okay? And I have put my score pile tape on the indented side. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold and burnish. You just do both those pieces. Okay. And um, go by your cutting guide. Okay. On where to score. Okay. And if you haven't grabbed your cutting guide, um, go to my um, scrappingitup.com, go to my blog, and grab it. It's free for everyone. Okay. All right, now, if 
piece that would do nothing to the eight and three quarters by 11. The one that we just folded is going to go right on top of this. We are forming a pocket page. Okay. You want it to line up best that you can. One thing I want to do with mine, I think I want to round the corners. So I'm going to use a corner rounder and round my corners, okay? On both those pieces. Just like that. Yeah, it is showing, Chris, it is showing you as a moderator because you're in blue. I just now noticed that has a little tool thing beside your name. Yay. So that's good. <laughs> All right. So my rounded corners is up at top. I'm just going to line this up. And if one doesn't fit quite right, try your other piece. It may fit just even just a little bit better. Okay, just like that. Look, we got a pocket page that's going to attach. Okay, so now grab your other piece. And then our other piece that we put tape on. Going right on top, guys. Right on top. Gonna line it up. And take your tape off. And I hold my hand here and take my tape off. The easiest way I found to do it. I welcome Tony. Glad you could join us. Afternoon of crafting. Yay. Who doesn't need a little crafting time um, during this, you know, craziness? I'll just put it that way. The craziness. <laughs> oh, thanks, Carissa. Yes, it's a free cutting guide. It uh, has all the measurements that you will need except for that block piece. I didn't put that in there. So you'll have to add that. But yeah. All right, so now these pages are going to attach, should attach to our hinge. I say should. <laughs> I designed them to, but you never know. You never know. I'll test this one, see how this one does. They're a little shy, short, but that's okay with me. That will not bother me one bit. Okay, now, when we're attaching these, you want this part up, okay? You want it to be just like this, okay? You want your pockets to mirror each other, okay? So, yes, they should mirror each other just like this. Okay. Yeah, I sold out on these kits, but I, I have the kits. I have four kits left that um, decorates this one. And I know I haven't done a preview for this one yet. This is the Just Fabulous tutorial. It's inside. It's one of those mini tutorials that you can get inside of my box.com. Um, I am offering the kit that completes the six by six. Um, it completes this album. And I need to do a show and tell on this because this, this is stinking cute. You get the Darcella collection. Thank you very much, Krista. You get the six by six paper pad. And it, the paper pad fills the whole thing. And I did have to use a little bit of cardstock. To, um, to make it, you know, last. But in that tutorial, you get the six by six, you get the nine by nine, and you get the 11 by 11 album. 
all three albums in one tutorial. So yes, I do have four kits of these available. You get the Darcella collection, the six by six paper pad, the um, sugar dots that go with it, and um, the embellishments. And you get six pieces of 12 by 12 double-sided um, collection for the Darcella. But yeah, go check it out, guys. It's on my website. I do have four kits left. That's it. Okay, and when those are gone, um, I can't get no more of this paper. That paper is gone. Okay. Oh, you guys want to see the preview of that album? Let me know in the comments. If you guys want to see that little six by six album that I've done, I'd be more than glad to show you the little preview of it. I do kind of a sneak peek. <laughs> You guys want to see it? Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is the um, little six by six album. It does have a two inch spine. There's the back of it. And this is the um, tutorial that is called uh, Just Fabulous. You get three different albums in this tutorial. And this is stuff that you'll find inside of my box my box account that when you sign up for my tutorial club um you get access to all my tutorials even if you no know, i put it in there and i never publish it because i've got several in there that i've never even published and i have even more to put in there yet that i've never even put in there yet so this is um the just fabulous it is six by six perfect for any six by six paper pad in fact, I used the whole darn thing. There's nothing left. It's all gone. <laughs> but yeah, I do have four kits left, guys. So you open it up and you have a little pocket there. And I did do the little, um, I taught you guys how to do this, oh my gosh, a year and a half ago, how to use up your scraps. And this kind of went viral. But yeah, I showed you guys how to do this, and it's that's an awesome idea. So you just flip, flip. Then you have a pocket here that you can put um, little photo mats in too. Okay, I just didn't put any in this album. Okay, so then it flips, wild like the wind. That's me. <laughs> uh. It's such a neat little album, and I, uh, I think I figured it would hold 60 photos is what I think, guys. I think um, 60 photos. But yeah, this, is, um, this tutorial is inside my box.com, so yep. Or you can buy it individually, okay? You can buy any of my tutorials um, individually, okay? But I just offer the, the tutorial club right now until April 8th, the, the $9.99 a month. And it's regular 20 bucks a month. And I may not even open it up. I, it's going to close and you won't be able to join until whenever I open it up again next year. And I'm really thinking about not even opening it up again. I mean, it is a lot of work to keep a track of. But... Um, if I were to ever close the tutorial club, I would still honor you guys till the end, till either something happens to me or you decide to get out, of, you know, out of the kit club or kit club, out of the tutorial club. There's another one of those little patchwork. And that's even inside my box.com too. When I um, showed you guys how to do that, I keep all my live classes in there. And all my tutorials that I've ever come up with. And plus, I've got a whole bunch more to even be putting on there. So that's the little cute album. Oh, welcome, Diane. Glad you could join us. Yes, it is a very cute little album. And 
that tutorial, you get the, the nine by nine and the 11 by 11. All right. So now to put in these pages in here, you need these to be matching. You want them to mirror each other. Okay. So let's put the first one on. So I'm going to take my tape off. Very first one. I'm not going to take it off to the off the back until I get this on. Then I'll take the tape off. So I'm just going to try and get it as best as I can. And if it doesn't fit all the way down, that's okay. All right. Let's put our other one on. Okay, we want it to be matching, so I'm going to put it on this way. See, it's like this, put it like that. Okay, that's important. You want these mat mirroring each other. Okay. I'm going to fold my hinge. I should have worked that hinge just a little bit more. So I'm going to take my tape off. I'm just going to kind of hold that hinge down just a little bit. It kind of helps make it just a little bit easier to put on. All right, there we go. I've done it. Oh, you're welcome, Diane. You know, there's a lot of people out there that like those little six by six albums. You'd be surprised, Tamara. You'd be surprised. Okay, there, they mirror each other. Yay! Look at that. Awesome possum. Woohoo! All right, so let's get our pockets. Let's get our pockets. Now, here's the tricky part. Okay, so you set this aside. Now, you want these to mirror each other. Okay, these should be seven and a half by nine and a half. Okay, you want them to mirror each other. So the first one I'm going to put in at the seven and a half, and I'm going to score half an inch. Okay, scoring half an inch on the seven seven and a half inch side then i'm going to go i'm going to go counterclockwise and score half an inch okay so that one is scored here and here now this one needs to be just the opposite so seven and a half inch side i'm going to score half an inch okay and i'm going to rotate it counterclockwise counter counter Clockwise. Oh no, I didn't take the other tape off. No. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I'll do that when we go to put our pockets on. So now let me get the tape on here so you can see. You'll see better when the tape is on it. What I'm talking about. Because you want these to be opposite. Okay. See? Formed an L. Now this one here is going to form a backwards L. Okay. A backwards L. Oh, it's hot in my craft room. Whew. I'm sweating bullets. Just like that. Just like that. That's how they should look. Now, let's make our um, we're going to make these special. I got to get my cutting guide. I don't remember. Okay. Two and a half inches from the top. Let's go ahead and fold these. So we're going to miter this corner where our um, where these intersect, you're going to miter. That reduces bulk in our projects. Okay. 
right through that X. Now we're going to fold. And when you miter, those corners should just meet. You don't want them overlapping. Okay. If they overlap, retrim them. They should just meet. Okay. okay. Just like that. They should just meet. Okay. Now, you want to keep these, you want to keep these straight how they're supposed to be. Okay. In fact, if you want to do um, an L for left and an R for right, just to keep you straight. Okay. Here's your tape. Here's your tape. Okay. So you're going to grab your ruler from the top. We're going in two and a half inches, make a little tick mark. Okay, two and a half inches, make a little tick mark. Now, three and a half inches from the bottom, and make a little tick mark. Do that to both pieces, okay? Do that to both pieces. Now, you're going to connect the dots. Connect the dots. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions yet, guys? So then we're going to connect our dots over here. And it's almost like we're back in school again. We're connecting dots. <laughs> we're back in school. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, now we put these. We're gonna cut right on that line that we just done. And I always cut just to make sure I cut that line off. I don't. I don't want to use my eraser to cut. And I need a new trimmer, cutting blade. So let me cut my little fuzzy wuzzies off. Ugh. I just changed that blade the other day. Crap. Don't seem like those blades are lasting like they used to. The trimmer. Cut off. All right. There's our pockets lovely lovely okay now you can erase your little pencil marks you don't want them you don't want them to show them all right there we go just like that that's how they should look guys okay <laughs> let's attach these bad boys okay let me take my double-sided tape off <laughs> I forgot. Uh, you guys can probably hear that semi going by. We got rock haulers. I live out in the country and the rock haulers are going like mad. I think we have, what is our temperature? Just a second. I'm going to check see what my temperature oh, I can't see it from here. But I know we're, we're getting close to hitting 80 today. It's warm and I love it. I love it. Okay, took my tape off. Now, these are going to attach just like this. You can either attach them to where you leave a little bit of brown. I'm going to cover mine up. I'm going to attach it right along my um, pocket page that we attached. Okay, I'm going to line it up. Best that I can. Take the tape off. Just like that, guys. Yay. 
There's one. Let's do the other one. Okay, and line it up. Take my tape off. Just like that. Getting some yard work done. Oh, I'd love to, too. I mean, it, it's nice enough. That's where I should be today. But I decided I want to work on this with you guys. I want to get this done because I know you guys have been waiting for this. I have been busy with work. I know you guys have been very patient. So I told my husband, I said, nope, no outside for me today. They wanted me to go fishing with them. And Will's like, come on, Mom. I'm like, no, I've got to get this done for my YouTube people. Okay. Now, on the front of this one is this pocket, and it's 5 by 12. Okay. 5 by 12. I've already put my tape on. Okay. Let's go ahead and miter our corners. Are you guys liking this um, notepad holder too? I love mine, and it, you know, it makes for nice gifts. Okay, just like that, and these, uh, that one almost overlaps. Oh, almost overlaps. Yep, that one does. So, when that happens, Grab your scissors and just kind of and do it on the side. Just kind of re-trim it just a hair. Okay. Oh, ooh, you're gonna use it for your family history. That is so awesome, Marana. I love family history research. I used to do that. Oh my gosh. I love it. I haven't done it for a long time because I you know, I've been doing this, but I love family researching. You can, I love all the little tidbits and, oh my word. Yeah, love it. What a great idea. Great idea. Okay, so this is, this is the front. Okay, here's the front. This is the front on the very first um, pocket page. Okay, this is going to attach right along this edge of our front of our pocket page okay I'm trying to get my mind up okay i'm gonna hold my arm there and take off my tape Keep my arm there and then take off my other tape. Just like that, guys. Woohoo! Looky, we have a pocket. Yay! And then we got the two pockets to go in front here. So, this might be a good place to stop because you need to find your paper that you're going to decorate it with because we have to put our paper down first. Before we put our two pockets here, and we're ready for the decorating part there, decorating part there, and then we'll have this left to go, and then our back will have left to go. <laughs> that is just fine, Carissa. <laughs> just fine, hon. Okay. I think that is it, guys. Do you guys have any questions? Um, please don't forget about the Tudor Club. It ends tomorrow night at midnight Central Standard Time. It will not open up again till next year. So um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments you know, down below. Um, either I or Carissa will get back with you on it. 
And um, yeah, I hope you guys join me. I really do because nine ninety nine a month, you can't beat that. You can't beat it. You know, and there's 58 tutorials in there and I'm adding more. I've got a bunch that I need to get in there. There's some that I need to update. So yeah, and I put my Facebook Live classes in there. So yeah, you guys can't beat it. Um, be sure to join if you can. And if you can't, I totally understand. But I want the offer to be there in case you, you know, you want to take advantage of it. Okay. Well, I appreciate you guys all being on with me. We've done it. My first live class. <laughs> I'm happy. I am so happy. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this, guys. So we got some more work to do. So within the next couple of days, I will, let's see, what is today? Tuesday. I work Friday. So maybe Thursday. Maybe, th yeah, let's just plan on Thursday. Um, I'll come on again, and um, we'll we'll do some more work on this, guys. We'll, we'll get it finished, okay? Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today, and uh, I, I hope you guys join me in my tutorial club, and uh, I appreciate you guys being on with me, and as always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye, guys. See you guys later.